welcome again to another C -sex sexy geography made simple now today i'll be looking at a uh, cross section uh, how you calculate cross section and this is an example of two cross sectional areas in which i'm going to be looking at all right so let us look at uh let's call this section a and let's call b right so i want a cross section let's say i want a cross section from point hmm i'm going to be drawing a, a line i'm going to call this a i'm going to call this section b right and i need to find a cross section between a and b how i do that okay this is what i do first i need to get a piece of paper right all right and then i'm going to be placing it along the line the geometry set is here because i don't want the breeze to blow up the paper all right so first thing i draw the line right note uh each line has numbers this represents uh contour levels contour lines uh above uh c all right so the first one we'll call this zero right so this is zero this measures 100 right here you have 100 okay so this is 100 this is 200 here's a 200 here as the line goes around right okay this is 300 right and this is 400 how oh, i know that this is 400 because uh contours are moving up uh, by a hundred right so this is 400 right so if that is 400 this is 500 right this is 500 again I, I, i'm ensuring that i write right where it intersects the line right so this is 500 again this is 400 this is 300 this is 200 100 and this is zero Okay, so I'm going to be doing a cross section and I'm going to need a graph leaf, right? I'm going to be needing a graph leaf. So this is my graph leaf, right? And I'm going to be plotting the cross section for here. Now, the first thing I need to do, I need to have uh, something like an X and a Y axis, right? So I am going to be drawing a line. I'm going to be doing two of them so i'm trying to use one graph leaf let me use a pen normally I use a, a a blacking pen right uh normally I use a, a blacking pen let me let me leave that section for labeling let me come up here so this should be i will move up by a hundred right so it's gonna be so you're going to be drawing a line, right? And you're going to be plotting the graph for the cross section. So, um, let's say that it's moving up by 100. So, it's moving up by 100. So, this is 0. Let's put that 0. Let's put that 100. Let's put that 200, 300. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. 400, uh, 300 and 500 right okay the next thing i'm going to be doing i'm going to be using this that i just marked a while ago to plot the graph so this is at zero so at zero it will be here right and i'm going to be following this line to go up to 100 which is here right this is 200 so therefore i'm going up to 200 which is here right this is uh 300 so I am going to be going up 300 in the middle of this. This will be 300, right? Cool. Uh, this would be 400. This line here would be 400 going up. All right. So if that is 400, this one would be 5. So all the way up here would be 5, right? And 5 again would be here. Moving up. 5 again would be here moving up. So it would be about here, right? And this would be four. I'm following the lines, right? That's the reason why I am plotting it, right? That's the reason why I use graph leaf. 
Uh, so uh, this is 300 and 200 would be about here right it would be about here uh, 200 would be here right and 100 would be here and this would be zero okay so I'm gonna be drawing the lines now so as to complete the cross section this would be the cross section uh, this will be the cross section following the dots right uh, following that and so that would be the cross section of the the first one which is a right so the first one which is a this will be the cross section as it's laid out now let's look at the second one and the second one I call it B and second one we are moving across and we're gonna label it uh don't want to get confused so we're gonna label it c and d all right now we're labeling c and d right so right, so here you have c and d right so i want a cross section between c and d how do i get that i have my plain paper notice uh the height here is 100 200 300 400 there's no number here but notice that you are going up by a hundred so therefore this must be 500 all right so let's go so this would be c level which is at zero this would be 100 this would be 200 this would be 300 uh this would be 400 and we only have one little touch one little touch of 500 right then we have 400 again then you have 300 two and one and this is zero which is c level right again you will have your graph leaf right and you will draw your x and your y axis plotting the graph for the second cross section right we're going to be plotting the graph for the second cross section and uh we're going to be using the paper that we actually we're going to be using the paper that we actually made the indication as to how far apart the contour lines are all right notice i don't write anything at this side the only thing i'm going to be writing on here is the height i'm starting at zero 100 200 300 400 500 all right and uh this is uh, from c to d right oh i know i only have one 500 mark okay so here we have zero this is zero right uh this is zero this is 100 in the middle here right uh 200 is right beside it coming up right uh 300 is somewhere there no here right uh 400 following this line all the way up to 400 right uh 500 i only have one dot for 500 right and uh i come back down to 400 which is here there it is it's a very steep area yeah about well, here all right 300 is here uh 200 here 100 is about here and this would be zero right when i draw my connect the dots all right this is how the landscape looks and when you're finished you're supposed to put these dots in pencil so when you're finished 
you're supposed to have a smooth transition of everything all right now i'm gonna what i'm gonna be doing i'm gonna be doing it um looking a little bit better i'm gonna be combi combining i'm gonna be combining both on the same graph so you'll see both landscape uh moving from one end to the next uh using this side so i'm gonna be look, looking using this side right okay so i'm gonna first be join the the l right so enjoying the l uh, x and y axis give me a sec pause 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 five is this line all right five again that means you're gonna have a little flat area on the top it's not as pointed right here then you're gonna have four right here right then you're gonna have three then you're gonna have three right here then you're gonna have two right following this and here now you have one again and then you have zero right i'm not going to draw the line to connect them as yet i'm going to be skipping around now to have the other one so this is zero i'm plotting here this is zero right and then you have two then you have so this is two so this will be three so that's three hold on yeah that's three this is four it's right beside it right and this is five right and uh you don't have any more five that means it's a point and this is four right and then you have this is three right and this is two this is one and this is zero remember i said that you must always use a pencil and not a pen when actually plotting uh, your positions all right so i am going to actually be drawing connecting the dots so i have my pencil and i'm connecting the dots and the dots must always be connected as if it's just one flow line. It, it shouldn't be connected like you have a line stretching from, you know, like you're using a ruler. It should be free flowing. Alright, so here you go. Alright, so after I have actually done that, I'm going to be using a blacking pen. And I am going to be drawing matching up the line Uh, when I'm finished, the line must look very smooth. So if I'm marking this out of six, and you never remember to rub out the line, uh, that's a pencil, I probably might give you like three or uh, three and a half for this exercise. Uh, let's see if it looks any different when I erase the line. Remember, after you finish it, after they finish erase it you're not supposed to take your pencil or your pen and try to straighten or fix up any line whatsoever 
So after if you finish uh, marking it with your pencil, you actually go over the pencil work with your pen, erasing the dots, and for a word that is valued six marks, this will show the value of six because if you notice, you don't see any dots in it, right? But it's not finished as yet. Uh, the title is missing. So you need to um, actually uh, title the work. And you title the work, uh, you would say cross section, cross section. between point A to B, right, and C to D. It will really be a bit more neater than this. Um, the, the, the others that I did would not have actually gotten the marks like this one. Right now, the others I did never look so hot after I've actually erased the rubber because I did everything with pen, marking it and all that. Uh, this now probably will get probably about two out of six. Right, no title, the dots are there, no title, the dots are there. It just look um, really messed up. Right, so you're not supposed to. It's not supposed to be looking like this. It should have a free flowing. It should have a free flowing uh, line without any dots at all. So it should look it should look like something like this, not like this. If it looks like this, you're gonna be marked down. Plus, you should have what you call a title at the top. Right, you don't need to label down the bottom. Yeah, you don't need to label down the bottom. You just need to label the side, which indicates the height. Right, same too with this one. This one not, not looking that bad, but the dots are there. So out of six, probably this person will get probably about another two, because the dots not supposed to show. And as you see, it looks, it, it, it doesn't look that neat. Right, so it, it, in, in doing something like this it should look uh having as i said before having a, a, a smooth and it should be done with pen right so the pen should show a smooth line going up coming down right with no dots no line looking as if you actually use your ruler to actually draw the line right so this is how you do cross section um so this would be the most what i call it now accepted um task uh so here now you would have probably about between five and six i would give it probably about five um uh, because i'll be looking at the smoothness of the line here you see that little bit of rough edges right uh it's not that smooth not that well done right so probably about five out of six this person would get and the cross section here you would need a little bit more space right so this is it from uh, another c -sex -c -sex -c, uh geography made simple i hope that this instructional uh, video was of great value to you bye bye for now catch you next time peace out